All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So you're going to notice something really soon. And that's that I am a Japanese carrier. And furthermore, Group I have ready. eight... Group three, ready for takeoff. Goodness. Just, I have eight different plane groups. Group seven, ready. Okay, we got eight. carrier ready versus carrier. We got a Shokaku, ready. tier eight. I'm in a tier ten Hakuryu. So hopefully we've got... We've got, um, carrier advantage. Ooh, they have cruiser advantage. We've got destroyer. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be working overtime. All right, what do we got over here? What is this? A Montana. Look how beautiful this map is. Holy crap, this is the new one, Hotspot. All right. I'm gonna attack in mass. Just zerg the enemy. And I'm going to go after that Montana. So there's, what, five of us, five of them. I don't feel the need to really move my carrier yet. But I'm literally going to mask them all up and just try to slaughter the Montana. So the Montana has less anti-aircraft than an Iowa does, but a little more than the Yamato. And that Des Moines, I would imagine, has pretty good any aircraft abilities. So we're, we're going to get everybody. And we're going to focus this beautiful, beautiful Montana. Look at this. So the interesting thing about Japanese carriers is we do have more squadrons, but we have less planes per squadron. So there's a distinct style difference right there. Three, four, we're about 50... 60% before we're just gonna launch all hell. Alright, what's that? That looks like an Azuma. Yamato. Definitely look Japanese. Alright. Alright. Oh shit. There's the enemy. You ready to see this? Now, which way is he gonna turn? Uh, oh wait, he's turning that way, it looks like. Group three, we are under attack. Oh man, I'm so excited for this. Taking the lead. <laughs> oh gosh, watch the torpedoes, man. Alright. Just just give me so many torpedoes coming in here. Two torpedo hits. Oh, and he's turning right into this broadside. We got dive bombers incoming. Oh gosh, this guy's done. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, so now we're gonna have to deal with this carrier because he's sneaking into here. If he comes at us, that's gonna be bad. Oh, but there's this battleship in the way, fortunately for us. All right, so we knocked out a Montana very, very quickly. The Des Moines has killed our Mogami in that duel. Whew, so if this battleship lands him, oh, so huge right there. Dive bombers are out though. They're gonna have to fly over this battleship. Who's shooting at him? Oh God, Des Moines, I might have to switch I think we're gonna keep running. Wait, no. Because we gotta run from the Des Moines. Group three, ready. Alright, group three is ready to launch. Look at this. Everyone's just. I have so many groups. It's easy to swarm someone. Okay, actually, we've got to go. We gotta increase our speed. Start moving. Oh man, we're about to take hits. Alright, we're gonna have to. Launch them off the Des Moines. We're starting to take some hits. We're on fire. We have to put that out. That's one thing I didn't really account for. Problem solved, sir. Oh my gosh, they're just charging. The Yamato. Group five, leading instructions. Group 
two, standing by for instructions. All right. Over. Things are getting really intense. Group two, taking fire. Group two, engaging enemy. Group All right, torpedoes three, in the water. How are these group fish going to do? We're under attack. Mm. Group five, I got some chance, fire. actually. He's going to have to turn into him. He's going to turn right in the middle of him. I think I might hit with two. Just one. Oh, shoot. That's not good. Five needs to return home. Where's group six? Alright, now we're going to have to our dive bombers. Everybody else. I think four? Is four ready? Four, six, eight. Hey, this is kind of getting a little tricky to keep track of. That carrier just went down. How are we doing? Not good. We're about to get smashed. Look at that. We've got fires galore. We can't land. We can't take any off. But if we can run. Repairs done now. Oof. Solved, sir. Please get behind this. Oh, yes. All right. Four's in the air. It's going to be suicidal. Ooh. I think we just survived, guys. All right. Four's up. Six is up. Group six. Standing by for instructions. Over. And six is a torpedo bomber. Eight. Eight's dive bombers. Look how ridiculous this is getting. I think we survived, guys. Eight. Standing by for oh, incoming shells. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Please. No. Whew. All right. Well, who's firing at us? Waypoint reached. Four's in the air, five's in the air, six is in the air, eight's in the air, nine's in the air. We're getting them all. Victory is in sight. Victory's in sight, two ships left. We just gotta. Standing by for instructions, over. Just gotta make sure we don't get shot by that guy. Alright, how many we got? Four. Six, eight, nine. Four. Six. Eight. Seven, ready for Group three, ready. Nine. Now we're gonna maybe adjust four. Group four, we are under attack. Six. Eight. We're under attack. Group five. Incoming is gonna turn into him. Yeah, it looks like he's kind of turning. Group six. That way. Engaging enemy. All right, torpedoes in the water. Down bombers in route. Nine. Fire. Two. Group six. Three. Taking fire. Five. Returning seven. to ship. Eight. Returning. Group six. How do we do? Alright, so we got five here. Keep them outside of the range. Group five, awaiting instructions. Five, do we wanna? Group three, airborne. Group five, standing by for instructions. Two's up. Alright, you know what? We're we're going for it. Who's this guy? Five. Team has taken the lead. We just gotta send everybody in. We are under attack. Three, get in here. Get in here, three. Engaging enemy. Group five, approaching target. Group five. All right, torpedoes in the water. Looks like we might have a hit. Returning to ship. There's a chance. We are under attack. Might get two here. Group five, returning. Definitely one. Got a hit. All right, three. All right, seven's incoming. Oh, we, we, we should have done that a little earlier. Did get some hits. Some torpedoes going. Who's ready? Six? Do you know how hard it is to keep track of all this? All right, dive bombers. Turn back to base, seven. Oh, yeah. Look at these Group torpedo hits! Alright, now he's pretty much dead in the water, it looks like. Who's who's left? Four. 
fours up. All right, dive bombers. Can we kill all of them? That's the question. Incoming group five. He's burning group up. Six, taking fire. Yeah, he's burning up. Group six. This is gotta be it, guys. Can we get? Oh, that that looks like it. To ship. That looks enemy. like it, right there. Oh, hit him! Ready. Hit him! Group what? Returning. How's he survived? He this has got to hit. No way! No way is he alive. The mighty Yamato. Who's up? Who's ready? Five. Two. Alright, eight's incoming. Can we finish them off with bombs? Group three, ready for takeoff. Group five, maintaining present course. Oh. I got some good hits there. Oh my gosh, there's like. Group two, airborne. Group seven, ready. I'm basically just going all in on this guy, trying to knock him out. Oh, we need him on fire. He's burning, but he's got repairs. Maintaining present course. Alright. Yes! Enemy battleship sunk. sunk. Alright, now we just gotta make sure wherever that other guy is. Alright, we got... Oh, that's it, guys. Sank two battleships in Montana and a Yamato. In the... Hakuryu. Top tier Japanese carrier gameplay. I tell you what, this is a multitasking Group challenge. Six, ready. Is what's going on. Who's ready? Five is five is just hanging out. Four, ready for takeoff. We'll just have everybody standing by. Okay, there we go. I see where that's happening. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Everybody headed over here. Because A is currently being captured. Alright, looks like who are the first four, five? I wonder if we're going to be able to get... Eight, ready for oh, there we go. What is that? That's the Des Moines. Let's try that. Group six, maintaining present course. Group five, standing by for instructions. Or group five, taking fire. Nine, oh, this ready. doesn't look like... This could be a kill. Only three torpedoes. This one looks attack. really good. I think we got it, guys. Two, oh, no, 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 no. Three, okay, fire. good. He's reversing. Three, that one's gonna hit. One of these is gonna hit. Eight, Let's try another route. Nine, be the hit. Four. Be the hit that we need. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, the Hakuryu. That was that was multitasking right there. 4,281 experience. And then we got Fireproof. Receive damage caused by fire that exceeds 50% of your ship's normal combat capability and survive the battle. Uh, survive the battle. An additional reward is given once in each 24-hour period. Hmm. So I think these are the flags, but looks like we've got 11 dive bomb hits, 15 torpedo hits, and we could have done manual control on torpedoes, but um, in that case, when you have that many torpedo bombers, you don't really need to. So I like to call that strategy the Tora Tora Tora, and I'll go into why. Oh my gosh, but look at that. This guy, the Iowa, shot down so many planes and did so much damage. We, I wonder how many planes of ours we lost. So we did 15,000 damage from flooding. And 9,000 damage from fires from the, uh, the dive bombers. 24,000 total damage from 11 hits of the dive bombers. You can see that the dive bombers actually are effective now. Um, in my personal experience, at the lower tiers, lower to mid tiers of American carriers on the main server it wasn't the case but 
They're really making carriers a lot of fun, especially with the addition of the Japanese carriers. So 73,000 damage off 15 torpedo hits. Oh my goodness. So let's see, how much damage did we receive? 73 HE sh hits. So we were pretty durable if we suffered that many. That is an insane amount. And we lost 25 aircraft in that battle, but when you're using Tora Tora Tora, casualties are to be expected. So credits and experience, there's that. Damage caused was fantastic. 14 hits on the Yamato, 10 hits on the Montana, and two to finish off the Des Moines. Three tier 10 ships knocked out by a tier 10 carrier. If a Japanese carrier can survive long enough, it's gonna just unleash absolute pain on the enemy. So let's check. Oh, that was so thrilling. All right, so here's the Hakuryu, right? And this bad boy is fully upgraded. You can see all of this, oh my gosh. Any aircraft guns isn't as good as American carriers. That is for sure. Um, decent maneuverability, but you've got what, 44 40 millimeter Bofors guns. And you've got 24 100 millimeter dual purpose guns. So some of these are what's also your secondary armament. And the planes that you got, but yeah, so I call when you have a, a Japanese carrier um, set up for the second modification, I call it Tora 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 because you're just launching so many torpedo bombers and dive bombers and you, it's, you're just going all offense and no defense. And we got really fortunate by being able to hide behind that mountain, or the island rather, with the mountain on it just in the nick of time. Ah, and you can see that since we're on a test server, fully upgraded, it definitely helped. But yeah, the different modifications you can do. You'll notice how when you're at tier 10, there's no hull refits. We've only got the 1942 hull. Um, no Shinano, interestingly enough. But anyway, so here's the different mods, right? You can have, that case we had seven, but we had eight right here. So you start out with a default of seven squadrons. And you could do two fighters, three torpedo bombers, and two dive bombers. And dive bombers are great now, guys. I think they'd be pretty good if they can get hits on something smaller like a cruiser or destroyer. Or if you're dive bombing another carrier's flight deck, that is just going to be brilliant. Um, alternatively, you can go more balanced, but the upgraded one, which is modification three, two fighters, three torpedo bombers, and three dive bombers, but we went Tora Tora Tora, modification two, all offensive, and this bad boy's got 63,000 hit points, um, the anti-aircraft's decent, you know, all these little, these little Bofors are everywhere, the Japanese equivalent, did the Japanese use Bofors, or just kind of like, I don't know, because I know it was like Swedish, right? But yeah, these things are just bristling everywhere. And here's the dual purposes. Look at how bad those things look, man. Pow, 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 pow. Let's hide that. Yep. But the Hakuryu. Hakuryu. Is that the pronunciation? Is that the proper pronunciation, rather? I didn't even pronounce pronunciation. Right. Marinate on that. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing over here. I'm just so excited after that result. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that was the Tier 10 Hakuryu new Japanese carrier. Um, but yeah, so actually that's what I wanted to show real quick. So you've got eight squadrons, right? What I was saying is how um, versus American carriers, it's going to be different strategy all around. We only have the Essex. But even on the Essex, you can see that you only have five squadrons. Start out with four, upgrade to five. But the difference is, I'm pretty sure that American fighter squadrons are going to absolutely destroy Japanese fighter groups, or Japanese just air groups. Because the American squadrons are less in number overall, but they have more planes per squadron. So if you send one Japanese fighter squadron against an equally tiered 
Japanese or yeah, an, a Japanese fighter squadron against an equally tiered American fighter squadron, the American fighter squadron should pull it out, you know, for the majority of the time. But and um, but American carriers can endure more pain, and Japanese carriers are kind of more nimble you know, faster, more maneuverable because they're narrower. So I think that's kind of like, I think the Japanese carriers are probably as a result less durable, but that still needs to be found out for sure. But anyway, that, ladies and gentlemen, was a little closer look at these carriers. So here's the Shikaku, which you saw. But luckily we got to take out Hakuryu here. But man, that was fun. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. Make sure to pull the trigger on the like button. Share the video with a friend if you want to get him into World of Warships. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'll be seeing you soon.